$200 million. That's how much Mayor Joe Hogsett is proposing to spend over four years' time to fix the streets and sidewalks in the worst condition in the Circle City. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines working for you to find out if your neighborhood is included and how far the money will go. She's just south of downtown with details. Katie? Well, Erica, the mayor will be among the first to tell you that this amount of money will only cover a fraction of the need here in the city of Indianapolis, a need that includes both streets and sidewalks. Take a look at this sidewalk here on South Meridian. You can see that some of the concrete is uneven, holes nearly as big as my feet, but the city estimates that need in street and sidewalk repairs at $2.7 billion. You get into what are called vertical displacements. That's the official term, but the unofficial term is really bad trip hazard. This is what City County Councilor Jeff Miller points to as the worst sidewalk in his district. This just kind of sucks the morale out of a neighborhood. The neighborhood is the Old South Side. The patchy concrete is uneven, unsightly, and by all accounts, unsafe. Ask Lisa Kinsey, who tripped here two years ago. We've been neglected too long. She's convinced the condition of the concrete and pavement along Regent Street is stifling development. They're not going to want to do those changes because the sidewalk, the infrastructure, the sidewalk is like the dressing for a house. Miller argues this street and sidewalk must be the first to be fixed in his district, but he acknowledges it could take some time as the city prioritizes. In this sidewalk we're trying desperately to find funds for, and we don't think until next year we can touch it. Miller says the $50 million proposed for each of the next four years is a start. Right now, a city spokeswoman says DPW is making sure the mayor's infrastructure plan represents the needs in every district. DPW will submit a list of streets and sidewalks to the council by the end of the week, at which time it will be public. In the meantime, there's no shortage of requests. I'm embarrassed that as a city legislator uh, that, that oversees the budget that we, that we have this situation. I understand the reality and I, I understand we can't fix it overnight, but yeah, it's embarrassing. So very early in the budget process at this point, but you might be wondering if you need a repair on the street you live in or on the sidewalk in front of your house, how do you submit a request to the city? We'll show you how you can do that by phone, online, or in person. Just head to the RTV6 app. Reporting live tonight, Katie Hines, RTV6.